today you will learn about the best way you can create viral reels using AI pictures inside of After Effects just by following a few simple steps. To animate and add depth to the, to the AI pictures, we will be working with my 3D camera plugin which will simply convert your scene into a 3D scene and place and scale the layers in the 3D space automatically with just one click. The link will be in the description and you can use the code double z5 for five dollars off so the first step will simply be going into leonardo ai in this website you can create amazing ai pictures with the simple power of a prompt you can also pick the the style that you want i'm gonna preferably pick the anime and semi-realistic style and then i'll simply write a prompt and download the image that I, that i like now the second step is simply going into photoshop I'm going to import my AI pictures inside of Photoshop and now what I'm going to do is simply make sure to separate every element of the picture so that when I animate my picture it will have a lot of depth. So the first thing that I will do is simply separate my character and the desk and I'll also separate this thing right there from the background. So let's do it. Once I've finished my selection, what I'm going to do is simply click on selection, click on OK. Now I'll simply click on Ctrl C then Ctrl Shift V to transport my selection into another layer. And what I'm going to do now is simply make the same for the desk in front. Simply make sure that the desk is on the top layer because it is the object that is the closest to the camera it will be important afterwards when we're gonna animate now that this is done what you're gonna do is simply add all of your layers but keep the background so now what you're gonna have to do is simply make a rough selection around the main subject and the desk like that and then you're gonna right click and click on delete and fill selection and what this is gonna do is simply it is simply gonna clean up the background for us so we can have a separate background and objects as you can see there so what you're gonna do is simply save this thing and this process you can repeat it for as much pictures as you want so i'm gonna do it for a second picture and i'll get back to y'all real quick as you can see i separated all of my layers to this ai pictures also so as you can see the background the car and the dollars flying in the hair so now what i'm gonna do is simply go inside of After Effects. So I will create a new After Effects composition. And now what I'm gonna do is simply import my Photoshop projects. And I'm simply gonna double click on them to have access to all of my layers. And the first thing that I'll do is simply animate my character. So I'll simply click on the Puppet Pin tool right there. I'll add a pin to the head like this, one to the neck. Now I'm simply gonna create my animation right now. Move the head a little bit, go a few frames forward and move it like that again and as you can see i'm gonna simply select all of my keyframes click on f9 maybe stretch them out a little bit more select them and click on ctrl c then copy them all throughout my timeline now i can simply click on ctrl a then click on u and u again now what i'm gonna add is a simple text so i'll write whatever so I'll write this and I'll put my text at the center of my composition. So now what I'm going to do is simply convert everything into 3D with my 3D5 Pro plugin. So I'll simply click on this button right there. And if I go to two views, the layers got separated perfectly for it to be in a 3D space. And if I change the room size, it will separate the layers further from each other or closer to each other, depending on what you want. The further they are, the more depth the animation will have. You can also control the camera position with this slider right there and you can also add a camera shake that you can also modify with these sliders. So I'll get rid of the two views. I'll keep the one view. Now what I'm going to do is simply create a camera animation. So I'll simply click on my camera controller. I'll click on P. I'll click on position to add a keyframe and then I'll just start animating. So, and I'll simply make some adjustments, select all my keyframes, and create a graph.
so as you can see the animation is already looking pretty clean so i'm gonna go back to my main composition and i'll cut it right there and i'll import a second ai picture that i cut it up inside of uh, photoshop and i'll just do the same exact thing so i'll just put it right there double click on it and this time i'll simply add a simple text i'm not gonna do some animation i'm gonna add this text right there and i'll simply directly convert the composition into 3d okay so I'll just put it like right there put a room size up a little bit now i'll simply put a camera shake preset okay and i will control my camera to make an animation like this and i'll do that just like that I'll make a graph on my keyframes to make it smoother. All right, now we can go back to the main composition. And what I'm going to do is simply click on Control A and Control Shift C to pre comp everything. And I'll simply add some post processing effect, like I'll add a glow um, from production crate. So I'll simply generate it like right now. And now, to, and now to polish it even more, what I'm going to do is simply add some overlays. I'll just simply add some light streaks overlays so it can look really clean. And I'll simply change the mode so we can get rid of the black screen. And as you can see, the animation is really clean and we didn't really, we didn't really pass a really long time on it. The 3D5 Pro plugin really gave us a lot of freedom on our creativity because it saved us a lot of time and as you can see it was really simple to do and if you found this video helpful i got another video for you it teaches you how to create viral reels without using any pic without using any ai pictures and you can create everything inside of after effects without using photoshop so i'll see you there